mean, horrible. I think this dinner party is going to be a complete disaster. I mean, ugh. I don't, it can't go well. I don't know how long I can put up with this Dr. Destruction guy. He says he's going to make me famous in his movie, but, I mean, look at this. It's awful. This cheap Dr. Destruction, I don't know how he's going to pass this off as a dinner party, especially for those professional actors from that Orson Welles walk. I mean, what does he think he's doing? This is deplorable. All right, the great day we've all waited for in, you know, in honor of the great uh, cemetery walk, which is now over. <laughs> sniff, sniff, that that's, uh, was very sad. And we promised uh, Mrs. Orson Wells Head or Wells Head. My name is Mary Blanche Head okay. Wells Godfordson, young man. Well, that's a lot Can to remember. Oh, don't, go, don't get me started on my name. I've got pages and pages of information about my name. Hey, there's a book dedicated to the full length of your name, I yes, think, ma'am. Uh, anyway, in honor of Orson Welles' grandma, we are throwing this fantastic dinner party tonight. And uh, Orson Welles' father is also with us. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, I'm an uh, inventor here from uh, Kenosha. And, uh, uh, I've invented uh, lights and uh, electrical connections. Sit up straight, and, Dick. Yes, yeah, everything like that. And um, uh, I, I made a very uh, good career out of that. Uh, became very wealthy. Ah, very well. So He was a millionaire and he retired at 46. And this is at in 46. the 30s. And then what did you do with yourself? Oh, Drank well, I... Uh, oh, I really? Around. Are, are you on the attack every time you're on this show, ma'am? I have... Lots to say, and oh. you're all gonna hear it. Ah, okay. Well, uh, well, I guess we will hear it. Yes, yes. Uh, you might want to lean forward, though. Or we, I don't know if the ghoulies are gonna see you. You're kind of drowning in that chair. This is the most the most pathetic seating I've ever had. I cannot see. I know there's a young person back there. I can't even see. And that means if I can't see her, she can't see me. Ah. So I must be seated up taller. Do you remember the king and I? No one could sit higher than the king. Oh, okay. No one can sit higher than Mary Blanche. So you are the queen. Sit. You are the queen. I am the queen. Ah, well, let's see. Uh, there's got to be some way we can fill where's this that, space. Where's that pedestal that you had pretty little? Would you about. like? Uh, would you like the pedestal? I deserve a pedestal. Ah, okay. Well, uh, maybe that can be arranged. That would be terrific. Uh, but a bad back, though. You've got a bad back, huh? Did you, you, are you willing to uh, give up your pedestal? Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, on Such long, a well, kind young lady. I know. What's she doing on this show? You. Oh, thank you, Lilith. I told you she was a nice young lady. Uh-huh. Well, uh, what's up with that, huh? I can see what things are going on here, but uh, I don't know. You... you you don't want to sit at the head of the table. Actually, somebody else is here oh, no, to sit no, at the head no. of the table. I told you before, young man, my name is Mary Blanche Head Wells Godfordson. That means I am the head of every table I sit at. Hmm, I don't know how to solve this problem. Uh, I see someone Someone has arrived here. I don't know where we're going to seat him. Well, um, there are two empty chairs. That's very uh, rude. Oh, yeah, that's, that's very rude. I heard a door slam. <clears throat> Oh, oh, that's even ruder. No, that is oh, rude. Don't and, tell me. Uh, what do we got here? Hello, grandmother. Oh, oh surprise it? guest. Oh, I'm not sitting here. I'm not having dinner with this man. When you have dinner with somebody or break bread, that means you are equals. And I am not breaking bread with this man because we are not equals. We are all well, equals in the afterlife. Something wicked this way comes. You uh, just walked in the door, Georgie. Porgie. Hey, All right, hey, we're going to have to do something know. about this seating arrangement. Where, where should I go? I don't know. Uh, we'll Can take I care of this. Uh, How about I'll sit right here? You go oh, go <laughs> kill the poor woman. Uh, all right. Uh, hold down. We're ready for a fantastic uh, uh, dinner party here. Uh, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, looks like I'll now get the last laugh here. Whether that you are at the head of the table with yes, the head? Guess, guess who was surprised this time? Ah, that's true. She did surprise you the last Georgie, time. Georgie, yes. you constantly surprise me and not in a pleasant way. Do not call me Georgie. It is Orson to you. Your name is George Orson. 
Go on. George Happy Orson. Uh, well, I don't know. You've, you're taking the floor here, but uh, as I should. Now we've got the gentleman who fathered Orson Welles here. Yeah. My and, uh, son Richard. That's your son. That's my son. Yeah. Oh, so we have the entire uh, descendancy here. Yes. Not a family the, reunion not in the afterlife. The entire, but the most important uh, ones. Uh, the Mary most Blanche and her son Richard. You see what's uh, going to happen here, right? They're going to team them up against me. We never got along with each other. We really? never got along with each other. I tried Who's to get along with that, you. Georgie? Please. You tried long to get along with him, huh? I tried to get along oh. with you. What was the problem with young Orson? Before you turned. Well, he's, uh, you know, he's independent. Okay. And when you give uh, someone, you know, independence, they become independent. I have always disapproved of your parenting skills. Well, what am I in the middle of this time? Uh, Lilith, what, what do you make of all this? I mean, you're new to this Wells uh, drama. It's getting pretty intense. It's, it's Working oh, honey, time. we have just tickled our toes in the sand. Oh. <laughs> so, what was a uh, what was it like uh, bringing young Orson? What did you What did you do for fun? Yes, Father, please tell him. Well, we did. Uh, uh, you know, we we you did a respect. lot of uh, t type of um, uh, relationship type of uh, so things. Uh, um, yeah, I was quite busy uh, before I retired when I was forty six. Tell them about uh, your patents, dear. Tell them about your patents and sit up straight. Uh, sit up straight. Yes, proper gentlemen don't slouch. Uh, I had uh, quite a few inventions. Uh huh. Uh, uh, light sockets, uh, electrical equipment. Uh, uh, I also invented uh, the uh, uh, auto bus cab. Ah, the uh, auto bus yes, cab. Yes. Uh, which uh, they use today. And I That's invented the right. uh, uh, money machines uh, for for the fares on on that bus, and and, and quite a few things. Lights that, you know, for bikes. That later became automobiles. Uh, yes. Tell uh, them all about it, Richard. Yeah, automobile lights and, and bicycle bi lights and, uh, um, and and my relationship with uh, Georgie here uh, uh, was uh, strictly a, a, a father-son type of relationship. Is that a pacifier? <laughs> <laughs> was that funny to you? Uh, for again, a moment, all, a brief moment. You, uh, you again, all these comments from her, you think are hilarious. Well, I, I, I just, you know, I'm prone to laughter. It's, uh, it's, it's like a nervous tick. I'm very nervous tonight, sitting with the three of you, and uh, the two of whatever they are. We never did. Oh, what about me? Huh? What about me? Children are not Edwina. to up, young lady. Well, I just did. I know you did. You're very ill-behaved. If this party was for us, then who are they? Uh, there. Please introduce your guest, Dale. Uh, well, well, we have Ooh, we have Mr. Svenger Winter. Uh, that's like a personal curse. Uh, 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 and then, of course, uh, uh, Edwina there at the end, the sparkly vampire. No doubt, some sort of Twilight fan. Oh, they I'm both sound like diseases. <laughs> oh, we. Oh. <laughs> it, it's a sad situation. Oh, you are so right, Doctor. Uh, yes, I am. Telling me. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Winter. Can I call Winter? you Ed? Is his last name Winter? His Doctor, last name is Winter, yes. I need my cone for my ear. Are you any relation to Edgar? Yeah. Yeah. This isn't what's your line. You can say more than yes or no. <laughs> I'm sorry, you need to speak up. Use your diaphragm. Yes, you need to speak up. You're, you're not mic'd up, so. Yes, good advice. Yes, I am related to Edgar. Thank you. I never cared for his music. Ah, uh, why not? It wasn't proper. We've talked about my taste. Oh, we're proper music? music? Listen. The music has to be proper? Absolutely, young man. I don't think I've ever listened to proper music in my life. The kind of proper that's in her mind, yes. Okay. <laughs> Always my Did not you teach him manners? You let him have Sorry. free reign. If only my mother were here. Oh, she's probably with Dr. Bernstein. Oh, a doctor's Dr. in the house. Please, I read Oh, no, more no, than no, in the no, house, no. young man. Oh, okay. More than in the house. He was, he was always more a father than he ever was. Oh, hush. Oh, that's a terrible I, thing to uh, say. Uh, many times he's uh, ignored me on and, and many occasions, uh, preferring to uh, spend more time with uh, Maurice, Dr. Bernstein, if you will. And Dr. Bernstein preferred to spend time with your wife. Oh, I heard of that at the cemetery walk. I don't want walk. you to get involved in this type of thing. You have mm -hmm. no, you have no place to get involved. I in have it. every.
every place and every right. I am your mother, young man. Yes, I, you are my mother, yes. And a witch. Now, what is this witchcraft? Uh, I, I, I've heard this story before that grandmother was accused of witchcraft by Orson himself. Would you like me to tell the story, Georgie? I already told it last time. Right. No one seemed to believe hush, me, so go hush. ahead. It's my turn. All right, I practiced and studied many different avenues of spirituality in my life. I believed in having an open mind, you see, Dr. Okay. Destruction. I eventually, in about 1913, I became a Christian scientist. And okay. Mary Baker Eddy taught us that all illness is fantasy, Beatrice. Mm -hmm. She died of hepatitis, you know. You know how one gets hepatitis. But I digress. Uh... Anyway, I digress. So, one evening, afternoon, Georgie came to town and they had a big party for him and they did not invite me. I wasn't invited either. I heard about this gala event. <laughs> Get your elbow off the table, you we, rube! We didn't invite, didn't invite you at all. Yeah, I heard about it, and of course, as his grandmother, I went to the party and said, Georgie, you ill-behaved brat. So do you know what he did after No, that? I have no idea. Yes, please enlighten us. He told all of the guests and everyone who would listen to him, all the, the masses that soak up his drivel, that I had in my third floor a walk-in closet. I did have a walk-in closet. He claimed it was all painted black and that I had a black table with Latin inscriptions and a pentagram above the Latin inscriptions. I had black candles and I had, get this, what, Dr. What you got in there? Can I say? Dr. Destruction, I am speaking. Uh, can I just Richard, I am speaking. All right, I have black candles. Do you need me to repeat the whole thing? No, no, they heard it. no. I was like, I was. Please, no. <laughs> I'm not finished, Mr. Winter. That was, now that was I'm fun. I'm not finished. I'm waiting for Mr. Fall to come in. Is he coming to this Fall. dinner? See, Winter Fall. Oh, winter. Right, see, I uh, explain. I'm brighter wow. than everyone in the room. I knew that to be <laughs> I, I wouldn't say brighter, but okay. So he told people that I practice witchcraft. Ah, uh, okay. Now let me tell you, one and all. You look like it. <laughs> from somebody, Thank you. My mother could not be here tonight. Someone's on my side, from finally. Somebody who's green with envy. Uh huh. Well, are he. You, well, that's supposed you, to be another joke. Are you the the little green sprout? No, he ate too many uh, frozen you're, peas. You're not the jolly green giant. That's for sure. I think we met uh, during the down. Day of the Dead. So, <laughs> I wasn't finished. The third floor closet in my home, and the home is still standing, by the way, 711 61st Street. Do go take a look at it. I, I've seen it. Uh, it has been painted over now. So you will never know. And you never did know. Yes, I did. Lilith, you have some some uh, knowledge of these things. And uh, would you uh, judge this woman to be a witch? Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> the sale judge of witch her. trials are over. And only the good <laughs> Lord above can judge. Uh-huh. I... No judgment here. Thank All you. right. Oh, well. I oh, she's, she's taking the easy way. Yeah, I knew she I was it. a nice girl. You keep your hands off of her. Yeah, that's Not true. Uh, so George, he got his hands on a few. Uh, what you're talking he about. got his uh, hands on a few women. Um, you know what? We discussed so that did, last time. So did my beloved son, Dick. Well, we I've had a couple of women that, that I've known. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, sense. A few diversions in my life. Yeah, you betrayed uh -huh. my mother. A few diversions. Only, <laughs> only after mother. your mother started shacking up. No, 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 no. Oh, Dr. no, I, that's, uh, that's, uh, we, we didn't come here up. to. He moved in your house. No, oh. oh. that's terrible Grandma words. Lucy. Maurice that's the only moved reason. into the house. Yes, that's correct. Maurice moved into the house. To treat my grandmama. I, I did he have a problem the with that. proper type of doctor. Oh, who he are you like to judge? He was like a podiatrist or some darn thing. I think he was orthopedic something or other, wasn't he, Dick? Why? Well, I, I, Who I don't knows? Know. I, no, bet, I bet he ordered that piece of paper from somewhere in Boston or something. 
So, so. Might have been a witch doctor. <laughs> Might have been. So, did, 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 did you two enjoy uh, your time in Kenosha, or was it uh, George that just uh, didn't care for Kenosha? No, I, uh, I, I was brought up here in Kenosha. I, you know, I apologize. I, uh, oh. uh, my father and mother uh, brought me here uh, shortly after I was born. So I, you I've were been too, in Kenosha sweetheart. You were too, my son. Yes.